<clears throat> All right, uh, sucks to be me, right? So uh, I just watched a little bit of this. We got a little bit past the halfway mark. Um, and, I, you know, I don't even really you know, want to encourage people watching this. This has got to be the most um, devious thing I've, I've ever seen. Uh, I, I just... I, I just... You got to understand what it takes to say we're going to put this person in a particular role and then the, 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 the things that they were going to have this person save from this role is going to be very pro, very pro slave, very anti, very anti colonizer. Again, this is, you know, uh, how things are set up from behind what we don't see. Right. And then we see. You know, of course, they're, they're broadcast, right? Meaning a movie. We see their broadcast of a movie. So what we have here is we have uh, Michael B. Jordan that on film pretends to be uh, Captain uh, African-American. Again, when you sit there and say, we're not African, and he plays in a movie where uh, I, I found out we were Africans and secret, you know, great city and all that stuff, you know, like, uh, and you put that on the public. Then, of course, when you do this, you want the public to look at your project in a certain way. You want it to look at your, your stars in a certain way, your actors in a certain way. Right. And uh, they build these images up in your head. Now, imagine you're a younger person. You're fascinated by the work of these people because somebody sat there, somebody with a, a degree in psychology sat there and sculpted out. If you go and do these things on film, it will play on the emotional levels of all these people. So that's what they did. Now, you and me, we watch this movie, and, and based on the money spent towards this movie, they're like, oh, they love this, right? So this is what they do. You, your money spoke for you. So what they do, they took Mr. Movie African, right? And they sat it down with Miss Colonist a African. And some interesting things were said. So uh, I haven't watched all of this. seen some of it and of course everybody has to get paid with commercials okay good afternoon brothers and sisters so one of my friends sent me this article and the link to this video of the actor Michael B Jordan interviewing Charlize Theron and it's so messed up. Now think about that. They have the black man. Black man. Black African American. We want you to sit down and we want you to uh, interview African, white African, white South African Charlize Theron. You see how the, the rank, the titles keep getting longer and longer for the, right? And again, we're down this road now, right? And so contrived and complex. I can't even do it justice. Let's pick up the video after she's been talking about how she is South African, from South Africa, and she was a privileged and rich person, a rich white person whose family benefited from apartheid. And then she came to Hollywood and she started to realize the, well, let's just watch what she has to say about this. It's the thing that drove me for the first time, because I've had some tragedy in my life, but it's the, it was the thing that, draw, that took me towards therapy. Okay. Very unawarely. Like, a therapist had to point that out to me. I'm, and I was like, why do you keep asking me these questions? And she's like, I think you have a tremendous amount of anger about all of this stuff. So for me to watch Black Panther as the person that I am, and I know this sounds crazy to a lot of people, but it's a very emotional thing. It was a very emotional thing for me to watch it. Yes, I have two young... So I want you to understand what she's saying. She's saying a movie about the, success, the mythical success of a fake kingdom, 
in Africa. Emotionally scars, a fake fucking movie emotionally scars this woman. She is a, a real colonist that got, what? Wasn't, wasn't successful in, in, a, in a land where she was stealing from the inhabitants. Think about that. Think about that. And she's like, I think you have a tremendous amount of anger about all of this stuff. So for me to watch Black Panther as the person that I am, and I know this sounds crazy to a lot of people, but it's a very emotional thing. It was a very emotional thing for me to watch it. Yes, I have two young girls, two young, beautiful, black, African-American girls. All right, so let's, um, let's take a step back here and go to the first layer of complexity. It says, Charlize Theron's son dressed as Elsa from Frozen, and people made transphobic comments. And this other article, this is from... Um, the uh, style from BET and it says is Charlize Theron's five-year-old son transitioning into a female okay so Charlize Theron has no daughter she has no children she has adopted children she has trophies from a land victory in 20 fucking 18 these are nothing but fucking war trophies you think i'm bullshitting just keep on listening and you'll understand how can she open up and say a fake movie about blacks being successful in africa hurt my feelings what and this article from Atlanta Black Star, and it says, folks have questions about how Charlize Theron is raising her adopted son. And so when she refers to her child, her adopted child, as a two black girls, she has African-American black, beautiful black girls, like why, why does she have to say beautiful, right? Is there some doubt? You know, like, when all these news reporters said, Why did you adopt boys if you want girls? Why does anything anybody think it's right? If, if you watch a slavery movie and they say they took, they, 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 there was a man that was white, he took little boys in and raped them and turned them and dressed them in one. If you watch a fucking slave movie and that's fucking atrocity, an atrocity, how is that? What is that to you modernly? A fucking a gamble? Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it won't. The the George H. Hurt Walker Bush friendships, because I'm covering his funeral. If somebody watched this in six months, I'm making this video at the same time that. They are rolling out George H. Walker Bush's funeral, and they said his friendships are real. Why do you even have to say that, right? Why do you have to qualify it? And so this is a five-year-old boy who was born a boy who Charlize Theron is saying is a girl because maybe the dude put on some girl's clothes or maybe wanted to dress up as Elsa, right? This is her putting on her own Hollywood her own Hollywood spin onto something that, again, it's just not appropriate based in his age and everything else. And she is an apartheid. She is a white woman who benefited from the slavery and the horrible apartheid in South Africa. No, no, she's a Tartarian woman who has benefited from world domination and the overthrow of the natural people to the natural lands they are associated with, biblical contracts, so forth, such, written in the Book of Jubilees. That's exactly what it is. It's land theft. And then you think because that person stood on land, you think because you killed their daddy, you can just do what you want with their child. This is the most evil fucking thing you could do. Force somebody to live in misery. 
that is unbiologically connected to you, dictating what kind of pants you're going to wear, what kind of shoes you're going to wear. No, what fucking gender you are. But I'm not a girl. Oh, oh nigger, you're going to be a girl. This is what we fucking live with. And again, the host is white, just saying, oh, how evil she is to use her white supremacy over these black people to change the little black boy to a little black girl. And never once ever think, dude, we should not be here fucking doing these things to any of these people anywhere. Nothing like that ever clicked in this motherfucker's head either. All he does is just uh, fucking snide giggles. Oh, that's complex. That's, oh, dude. You're saying words, don't even fucking focus on me. I have dictionaries and shit. Anything you say, I can look up, even if I can't fucking pronounce it. You're using words your viewership can't even fucking pronounce. How many people you think are, are fucking intelligent listening to good old fucking Ray, Ray? Right? Romano, right? Hey, it's Ray! Africa, and now she's adopted... <laughs> a couple of kids from Africa or a couple of, of black children. Now she's putting her Hollywood culture on them. And so this is a white woman who is from the, you know, basically Isn't that weird when it's a white man saying this is a white woman, right? No, this is Tartarians doing what Tartarians do theft. A couple of kids from Africa or a couple of, of black children. Now she's putting her Hollywood culture on them. And so this is a white woman who is from the, you know, basically a slave-owning state. I mean, the apartheid in South Africa was so brutal. It's just, you know, it's like one of those places where you say, it's like South Africa, right? And she is a feminizing uh, black child that she adopted, which is like so messed up. And of course, there is, this, rise, this raises some questions or some outrage in the, in the black community, but it should in everybody that she's adopting these kids and she's transitioning this five-year-old boy. And so let's put this in perspective. If you, if you have a child and they're three, two, three, four, five, and they say to you, they want to be a fireman or an astronaut, you don't get them into training, right? You don't start training them for the astronaut program, you know? Or if they want to be in the army or the Marines or something, want to be a soldier, you don't bring them over to Paris Island and make them go through the Marine boot camp. If a kid wants to be, uh, uh, you know, work with animals, you don't drop them off in the middle of the safari, <laughs> right? They, you expect that that might change. Whatever they think that they are when they're two, three, four, five years old, that's a great point. As you're a parent and you have children and you see your children developing, you can see what your child could be, the potential of your child. And you start buying things, whether it be fucking toys, practice equipment, gear, right? You're gearing your child up to that stage of development. There's, cl there's, there's clearly there's video online where these children openly state, I'm not a girl. With those public statements, you can see, you can, even without public statements, clearly you can't deal with a, a child's sexuality. They can't cut into the child surgically, and this is why they give these ch children pills. Whatever they dump in the river to fucking make frogs turn from female to male, it's the same thing they dump in these little kids' Kool-Aid to make them drink. You're going to hear this bitch, I don't like your people. I'm the African. Just because she don't use those words doesn't mean you're an imbecile for not reading between the lines. She knows she's not an African. She's her strong desire to claim she's an, uh, an African, just like any of these other people. I'm an American. Who the fuck you're not? Up until five minutes ago, you, you, you were people that claimed to be Europeans, that, that we couldn't figure out where you came from. The whole fucking world makes fucking statements, where do white people come from? But I'm the, I'm the fucking bad guy?
Because I took everybody in fucking this country and killed them, or that country and fucking ate them, or this country and banished them. Shut Get out of here. Ugh. Isn't what they're going to be at age 13 when they've gone through puberty and what they are at age 20? He's going to be a queer because they pumped him full of fucking chemicals. And what they are at age 30. You change significantly. And so just because a boy puts on a dress, now if you leave a box of dress-up clothing and costumes, the boys will put on girls' stuff and the girls will put on boys' stuff and it's no reason to freak out and worry about it because it's just what they're doing. And just because a boy says something like this when they're five years old doesn't mean you start transitioning them. It's ridiculous. It's just too young to even conceive of it. And all these Hollywood correct people, politically correct people, and again, I've just covered this with the video I made on Halsey, that the scientists and the psychological community don't even understand what this is about. Let me, let me ask you a question. When you pump fucking adopted children full of sex pills, does it even fucking matter? I mean, at the point, you can clearly see this, this bitch is conducting her own fucking Nazi experiments. And obviously she got the medication from one of these Nazi American doctors that said it was okay to do. Because legally, we can go around the law, right, and not, and not, and, and not just surgically do it. Right, so we'll just do it on the sly. We're, we're what? Every day when the gerbil, when the gerbil drinks from it, we'll poison him. How the fuck is this legal? How the fuck could this Michael B. Johnson sit across from this bitch? How can black people work with fucking people like this? I mean, I mean, there has to be a line for some of these soulless fuckers, right? They have theories, but they're just theories. And so when a kid's five years old, you don't make any life changes. You, know, you don't give a kid a tattoo or something. You know? Well, the kid said he really wanted to you know, tattoo this on him. Yeah, well, he's five years old. So you don't make any life-altering decisions when a child's five years old. And these people in Hollywood and all these other people want to have these types of kids, it's a badge of honor for them to have a kid that's transitioning. We've talked about this. They brag about this. They, it's a show, they're showing off. It's complete narcissism. And so even if a kid, you know, one day puts on, you know, lipstick or something, oh, my God, he's a girl, you know, and they jump on it and they start giving them meds and pushing this agenda on them, and the kid wants to please their parent. And so this is so messed up on so many levels, right? But of course, there's more here to see. Um, not from South Africa. Okay, okay No, sorry. no, I wish. <clears throat> they wouldn't give me a baby. Mm. <laughs> Who's they? So Michael B. Jordan asked her if these... You heard that? He said, are those kids from South Africa? She said, no. Hell no. They wouldn't give me a baby. So you mean the black people in South Africa would never release one of their own in the, your fucking evil hands? Oh, I wish <clears throat> they wouldn't give me a baby. <laughs> Who's they? So Michael B. Jordan asked her if these two girls, one of them's a boy, he doesn't get into that. Everyone knows it's a boy. This was covered in mainstream media. So they didn't even discuss this. She's just calling this boy a girl now. Get more into that. But then she says that they aren't from South Africa because they wouldn't even give her a baby. And she laughs. Who are they? Responsible adults? People who could see that you would be a bad mom. I mean, who's they? <laughs> Why are you snickering about they? All right, let's get back to it. Um, no. Now, think about that. Leviticus, right? I'll send, what, wild animals to, to steal your children. And you just heard right there, the Africans would never let that happen. So that biblical curse does not affect them. Not from South Africa. Okay, okay, no, sorry. no, I wish <clears throat> they wouldn't give me a baby. Mm. <laughs> but I, I had a very emotional reaction to it. I still do when I think about it because I cannot wait to share that movie with them. Okay. I had this like weird reaction watching it when I, I said to myself, 
I cannot wait for my girls to be big enough to share this with them. Well, you mean your five or six year old son? Is that what you mean by girls? One of the girls is your five and six year old son. And so again, he's six years. Think about that. She's She's got those kids. She's like, I cannot wait for my little girls to see this movie so I can set them straight. You see that character right there? That's you. I, ki I had your dad killed and now you're adopted by me and I changed you to what? To a girl to insult your dad's memory and see the brother that was sent to America? That's actually you. I actually captured you before you got sent away. You never made it. And I turned you into a girl too. old whatever he is seven maybe now i don't know when this story first broke but he's you know see a child and he is born male and you're just putting this on him because of your agenda your hollywood morality and that's so screwed up and it's even more so when you think about what she is as a brand Oh, that's amazing. Because it's so much more than just whether you're from Africa or whether you're African American or mm. it's a it's such a bigger thing than that. That movie broke so many glass ceilings across mm. the board. How many glass ceilings are there? Well, first of all, it's a mixed metaphor. So many glass ceilings across the board. <laughs> no, they're glass ceilings, they're not boards. But how many glass ceilings are there? Can you name the amount of glass ceilings that that broke? All right, so the Black Panther was the first major movie that featured a black superhero, one glass ceiling. And there were some black women that were warriors, not really something new. And maybe they shot the film in Africa and they used primarily black people for the crew. So maybe that's three glass ceilings. But how many are there? Like, you, what, what glass ceilings can you name? Is there a transgender glass ceiling you're talking about? Or let, let's get back to it. Not just the fact that there are women in power and that there are black, beautiful, strong African-American women, African women. I know that you guys shot with a lot of South Africans as well. We did, we did. And that my children are going to benefit from that. But that I got something very cathartic out of that. Yes. You know, yeah. really, really cathartic out of that as an African woman, as a woman, just in general. Okay, let's stop right there. First, this is where she calls herself an African. Now, how are all those people that she just brought up about Michael B. Jordan working side by side? You worked with African-American misnomer bullshit, right? right? You worked with African, you worked with South African people. Will those people ever even talk to Michael B. Jordan again after this? After he sat across from this thing, calling itself an African. Why does she have such ter terrible memories of that place? Did they chase her out of there? You were... You were royalty there, but you had to leave. I mean, it's so empowering to watch that movie. No, oh, that's incredible. I, I never thought about that perspective. That's uh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's 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 very moving. Asshole! Now I need a tissue. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should be so sorry. Can I grab a tissue? Asshole! He's he's an asshole, and he should be sorry because he asked you a question. <laughs> He asked you a question about, like, whether you saw Black Panther or not, and then you unloaded <laughs> this whole other movement towards insanity, your own history of benefiting, and your family was powerful family involved in the apartheid, impressing black people, the native peoples in South Africa, exploiting them, horrible. And she was a part of that. She came to America. I think you said impressing, and I think you meant imprisoning. Uh, she got some Hollywood culture or whatever. She's possibly a dude. We'll get into her whole history here in a second. And then she adopted a couple of black kids, and she's transitioning one without, you know, no, not being backed by scientific data or anything else, based in her own Hollywood morality, which is effed up. She's a feminizing 
a, a, a child that she's adopted and from another race, so it has even more significance. Right. I hate blacks. I hate men. Well, why are you? Ha why do you have a black male child in your home under your roof? And then years later, we see the what? The results of your hate. You no longer have a black male child. Now you have a what? Black female child. A few more years, you'll start dealing with what? Skin whitening cream. You'll do anything you want to your living Barbie doll, right? Given her history as an apartheid ruler, a slave owner, she's a feminizing a black child, a black male child. So there's all this messed up part of it. And he asks you a simple question, and you start crying, and you're offended by that. You're upset by that. No, 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 she's not. She wanted to fuck you. See, just like you said, this had nothing to do with nothing. She wanted to tell his black ass to his face to watch with the camera there that he couldn't do anything. And now, although his white career isn't ruined, all of his credibility with black people are ruined. Why else would she ask that face to face? Because you don't think it's powerful to be vulnerable to emote um, some emotion. And so well, let's get into some of her history. Okay, so this is uh, Charlize Theron's um, the Dior commercial for Dior. I don't care about her history. We're done. 